So it's a bit of a plan fail. Because down there, that's nearly 12. That's the motorway. So <laughs> over there. Oh, it's train! It is! E! It's for, I thought you could use it for your um, schoolwork. So oh, that's perfect. Miss Sadler, my drum teacher, yeah. told me to do that. Um, to Short release her dress. And your drum pad, yeah. <laughs> so, you like it? Yeah, it looks really nice. And your little shelf? Oh, wow. <laughs> Half Beano. Well, mine, that falls out that drawer easily. <laughs> Good. Is it morning or afternoon? Afternoon. Afternoon. Good afternoon. It is Sunday and what you saw the clip before, that rhymes, what you saw the clip before was uh, Poppy's reaction <laughs> to her new bedroom that we finished. So I think you like it don't you? Yeah. Yes. It was a good reaction. Yeah. But we're just, um, someone's told me about this walk that where everyone goes where we live um, it's round because we've got trains close to where we are and it's round by the trains and there's a big field apparently so I've been wanting to do this walk for I don't know how long but the trouble is I can't do it on my own in case I can't make it <laughs> so I know it sounds silly but I can only make certain distances so I have to have someone with me just in case I can't make it yeah, let's go and see. Oh, if he's having a wee on someone's little corner. Nice. Well, I can hear the A12, the motorway, but I don't know where we're going. There's another cutway through there. But no, it's a, it's a walkway. Look, it's got a staggered gate. I'm not getting lost. But <laughs> we're not getting lost, don't worry. Evie's enjoying it anyway. The uh, railway bridge. There it is. Where to now? I don't know. Around here we could see the bridge. When I walk, when I... Oh, so when, yeah, you can see from over there. Oh, it's a train! It is! E! Oh. Was that good? You probably couldn't even hear it, could you? They probably can't even hear me because it's so windy. So we've got to go over here and over the other side. So it's a bit of a plan fail. Because down there, that's the A12, that's the motorway. So <laughs> we haven't found it over the bridge, have we? So we've got to go back now. Oh well. That's your fault, that is. That would be. <laughs> Good morning. It is still, isn't it? Yeah, ten, just gone ten past eleven. It's Monday today, and this I just thought I'd pop on here and address the coronavirus situation because I don't know about you, but I'm sort of mixed feelings on it. I'm half panicked, half not, half fed up with it, half listening to it. <laughs> It's, I get that it's worrying. I get that, I mean, my main concern and my parents because um, my dad has heart failure and my mum has had a heart operation and she's got arthritis as well with a low immune system and she's over 70. So I, I am worried for them not so worried for us because if we do get it we could probably fight it off but it's just i think it's people panic buying that's panicking me i'm thinking should i be doing that should i be going out and buying extra tins of beans and toilet rolls and things i don't know i mean what if the country is locked down what if we're like spain spain aren't allowed to go out unless it's an emergency 
well you can't get your shopping delivered then can you because everyone's on lockdown so how do you eat how do you drink and I think that is why people are stockpiling at the moment so I might get a few extra tins I don't know but I don't know what to do because people on the telly saying don't stockpile because obviously it's not fair for the people like who have chronic illness or who are elderly that need those things and order them it's like I'm just about to do a weekly shop online and last week I, could, I always have my shopping delivered on a Thursday and I couldn't get a Thursday slot because it was full so things like that you know people are just going crazy but people are still working people are still living so I don't know I don't know it's I think the stress of it all is doing my fatigue in today so it's I've got to try and not be stressed by it but every time you turn telly on it's coronavirus so I think I might just put a film on or something it's getting just ridiculous really anyway what are your thoughts on the coronavirus what do you feel do you are you like me half and half I don't know because like Poppy this morning She's over the weekend. She said she felt like she was having getting a cold. She has cold after cold. She I don't know. Her immune system is rubbish. And then she's had a bit of a cough this morning. But she has a when she has a cold, she always gets a cough. So I don't know. And I found the school and asked their advice. I said, should I keep her at home? And they said, um, not if she hasn't got other symptoms like she hasn't got a sore throat, she hasn't got a temperature, she doesn't ache, she doesn't feel ill. So they said, you know, we can't keep every child at home that has a cold because they'll have no children in school. But where do you where do you limit it? Where do you go, you know? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, so today I am mainly at home. I am at home. I am doing, like I say, my online shop. I've got to try and get enough spoons together to take the dog out. Holly should be back soon. She's just gone to the shop for me to get a few bits that I needed. And that's about it really. But I have had a busy few days with decorating Poppy's room. Oh, would you like to see it? Would you like that? I will take you in there to show you. Because I never showed you the final thing, did I? I mean, like I say, I'm going to do a, a bungalow tour. But there we go. So this wall has been a disaster <laughs> because where the tape was, where the silver bits are, I peeled it off and a load of the paint came with it. So we had to then touch up all the shapes. But that is Poppy's room. So we've got all her things back in now and I'm really pleased with it. Gives you a little glimpse of what we were doing. Good morning, yes, it's half past 11, and good morning from Evie, who's still on my bed, and cha. Yes, you are, and still very smelly. <laughs> she needs a shower, really, because your ears are a bit smelly. Oh, you're getting up, finally getting up at half past 11. <sighs> Let's see if she wants to. actually, the door's open so she can go out. Um, it is Tuesday today. Tuesday, isn't it? I can make my bed now. That's good. I've got to go and put some makeup on, as you can see. Because, you know, this isn't really a good look, is it? Without makeup. I have got a list of a few jobs to do today. I want to get the vlog ready for tomorrow. And take Eve out. The sun is shining at the moment, so I've got the back door wide open. Let me show you. Let's see if Evie's found it as well. You going out? Yep. Doors open. She loves it when the doors open. Because it means she can just wander in and out as she wants. Anyone else need to cut their grass? Because I certainly do. Look at that. Look how long it is. But, um, trouble being, at the moment, uh, our things are buried in the shed like our lawnmower and lead and everything because of the garage being done so I think what's happened as well is Sunday this Sunday is Mother's Day 
and we were supposed to be going out with the family for a meal to a pub well the government have said don't go to pubs so we have cancelled it we were going to then have a meal all together around someone's but the girls are worried about passing on anything that they might have that they don't know about to the grandparents which is fair enough so we will stay at home so I said it's supposed to be a nice day so we're going to get some gardening done then so we'll have to dish out the the lawnmower and the the lead then and get all that done so that would be a nice day even though we can't go out it will still be nice I feel exhausted again I just oh, it's ridiculous it seems to be as soon as I've sat down and had my breakfast I haven't got the energy to get up and go again I don't know if that happens to you but it just seems to diminish my my spoons rapidly anyway that's going to be it today I don't know what these vlogs are going to be like for the next few weeks because I'm not going to be able to go out many places I'm you know not going to be able to take you to different things show you different things so you're going to have to bear with me and I will try and bring you the best vlogs that I can from being in the bungalow. I think next week I might do the bungalow tour as it's all finished and yeah just basically try and bring you some, some content that you want to watch. But if it comes to it then I'll just have to stop vlogging because if nobody wants to watch me being at home all the time which I can't blame them really then I'll have to stop until we can actually go out again I don't know I'll see <laughs> fly on me face I'll let you know either way but don't worry don't worry be happy I've decided to make some um, banana muffins it's all right I'm talking to the vlog <laughs> holy time she's uh, revising from home but there's a lot of flour that's in this one. Now, what's the betting that they're going to dip in the middle again? How much do you want to bet on it? We shall see. They're looking good. They're not sunk yet. Don't speak too soon. Hopefully this batch are going to be all right. Ta -da! They didn't sink. Look at them little two on their own. They look really nice. Nice and spongy. So I'm going to let them cool down and then I'm going to put some icing on them. Um, I haven't got the energy to be, uh, what do you call it, enthusiastic. I was just, why did Cheerio fall on the floor? Look, let me show you what I mean. Do you see that? A Cheerio fell on the floor. I don't know why. Who knows? Okay, so I have just been to Sainsbury's with Holly. The reason we went to Sainsbury's is one, because it's closer and two, because they've got the hand scanner things so that as you shop you can pack it and you don't have to do it all again at the end. I might sound drunk with how I'm talking but that's because I'm so tired. And yeah, we got well the shelves were empty meat section was empty um, a lot of the f the shelves were empty no beans no tins no nothing freezers were empty but we managed to get what there was so there was for example there was um, some thin cut steaks beef steaks got them got um what else did we get oh like bacon we got gammon we managed to get some salmon we got fish and breadcrumbs that was in the fresh bit not the frozen bit so my advice if you have to go to the supermarket is pick up stuff as you go along because you can always take it off and yeah we basically got enough for a dinner every day for the next week but only the next week we got two extra dinners 
that was it two extra dinners my head is going to explode it hurts so much so this is the reason why I can't go to the supermarket this is why I do my shopping online and this is why people that are able-bodied but are scared have booked all the slots therefore I couldn't get a slot therefore I've had to drag myself round probably messing myself up for the next few days if Holly wasn't there let me swap wrists hang on if Holly wasn't there I don't know how I'd have coped I think I would have passed out I am that tired it took everything for me to get from the car to the bungalow I'm that exhausted my head is pelt <laughs> so thank you to all you able-bodied people that took up the delivery slots and made me look like this and made me feel like this I really appreciate it <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go and rest as much as possible and um, check in with you again later good morning I think is it yeah 20 to 12 it is where's the keys gone I've lost the keys oh no they're in the door I tell you my I've got well as you can all sympathize hang on I've got to open the door with this hand <laughs> I've got um fibro brain doesn't really cover it at the moment oh and it's raining we were going to take Evie out it's raining now I'm just going out to the garage if you, in case you're wondering it's all I don't know it's all up in the air now this will be coming to you a week later because I'm a week behind with my vlogs so I don't know hang on I don't know in a week's time how the situation will be different but I'm talking to you what's the date today is it the 18th today I think it's the 18th from the 18th of March and so far like I haven't gone very far like yesterday I went to Sainsbury's obviously and it killed me well it didn't kill me but you know it felt like it did and Poppy has two more days left of school completely and then she leaves the exams have been cancelled Holly's A-level exams have been cancelled she's not at college anymore it's all just so much too much and I don't know I just think my poor body at the moment doesn't know what's hit it because of everything that's going on so it hurts I feel tired I, I know all the usual but more so because of all the emotions that are going on at the moment but anyway um, keeping positive staying positive I'm saying to the girls it'll all be okay everything will be fine it'll all go away in the end and we just got to make the t most of the time we've got together at home and feel blessed that we I haven't got to teach them <laughs> well not Holly I wouldn't have a clue with A levels but with Poppy I was going to have to you know structure her day as if she was at school to do all her GCSE work which could have been interesting because <laughs> I haven't got a clue but I would have done my best to help her but um no we don't have to do that now and I don't I don't know I mean I'm like do I get rid of all her books do I not do I let her do that I mean tomorrow she's taking in a school shirt to be signed by all her friends but like she said she's good friends with people in year 9 and 10 as well and they're not at school now so they can't sign her shirt she can't say goodbye to them which is really sad I know there's social media but you know in person so when this is all blown over I might have a little party for her and then she can have all her friends round and everyone can sign her shirt and everything will be okay so but it just it's all of a sudden you know I'm, I know the coronavirus isn't all of a sudden but I mean the 
school thing is, and college thing is all of a sudden and I don't know how I feel so goodness knows how the girls are feeling I, I can't even begin to imagine <laughs> but all I can do is support them so that's what I'm doing I've just wrapped up some presents I've come out to get some present bags but I don't know what's happened to my present bags I'm gonna have to sort this out look at this this is the end of the garage because obviously that end of the garage let's put the light on for a minute this end of the garage is going to be their soundproof snug so if you can see dad's just started to put all the all the sellotex the soundproofing stuff in between the thing he's made um, he's still got to do the garage door but I think that's the last job so he's got to do all the roof as well so this is the girls end but it means this bit is our end of the garage here if I come back you can see we haven't got a massive room but it's plenty enough for what we need because we've got a big shed out there but yeah this this has got out of control so on Sunday which is Mother's Day I think we are sorting all of this out and getting a bit more order so I think I might leave finding the present bags until then luckily I already had the presents well I have seen my Easter stuff through there might have to get there's a Lucy Rabbit in there you're being squashed mate might have to get them out soon but yeah it's it's just a bit of a bit of a mess but never mind so yeah we're gonna take me and Holes are gonna take Evie out when it stops raining and um, post some letters so I might sit down and watch a bit more of this morning which I like to do because I record it and then I'll watch it back when I'm ready and I can fast forward the adverts there and then the bits I don't want to know don't want to listen to let's turn that off so that's what I'm up to today but it's a shame it's raining hopefully it'll clear up later don't want it to rain the world's miserable enough as it is right now it's Friday 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 oh it's Friday it's Friday and I've just cleaned the oven out let me sit down for a minute what is all over my sofa probably called a poppy lord who is on her last day at school today she has gone in she's taken her snacks because they've got like a party this afternoon where they get to sign each other's shirts and things so I think she's very sad and confused and everything all the all the emotions which you can't blame her for really can you the same as holly you know it's they've just been left in limbo really it's like they've been kicked out and that's it but anyway um no more news on on that front at the moment we're just waiting i think it's today that the government have a meeting to decide what they're going to do about the exams and things so we shall see i've just cleaned the oven out worn out now i've got to do my tablet pots oh, i hate that job hate it don't like the word hate but i hate it holly's just getting out of the shower dog's just gone out we're going to take her out again in a little bit but it's not sunny again it's cloudy it's supposed to be a nice weekend though which is good because we want to get outside so i'm going to edit this get this ready get the vlog ready to upload tomorrow for the weekly and then probably sit and watch some more programs might do a stretch workout all the usual stuff all I can see from Poppy's room is a teddy bear's ass. let me show you before I sign off look at that teddy bear's ass. lovely that's great thanks for that pops <laughs> so anyway i'm going to end the vlog here today because there's not a great deal to film don't forget to give it a big thumbs up i forgot to say all this at the beginning again i'm useless at that aren't i don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell leave me a nice comment and I hope you all stay healthy and safe 
and I know this is coming to you a week later so I don't know what it's going to be like next week but anyway I'm sure it won't be far off from this <laughs> I don't think loads will have happened but take care and I'll see you for well it might be fibro section it might be house tour I don't know bye